See, three and four, that's us. I guess when we first started big in football was when the dome actually opened when they started talking about that and we decided it'd be pretty nice to be inside for football games <laughs> and it still is today. Since the dome opened in 1976, this will be 42 years, um, we have missed four home games. We missed one in the 70s and then I had two reunions and then I had a knee surgery. So that's, that's four we missed. It used to be we'd stop at either Jacob's on the hill or Hy-Vee to buy me one of the big homecoming mums. That was a big tradition. Then proceed to the parade and meet people we knew around the bookstore. It was always the gathering place, yeah. you know, and we'd stand and watch the parade there right outside the bookstore. I always run into somebody. We never had children of our own, so we decided that it was always fun to get to know the players and sort of adopt them as kids that we never had. So that support just kept going through all the years. And of course, when we tell them the history of only missing four games over all those years, they get like big eyes saying, that's, that's pretty impressive. So, <laughs> But no matter the opponent, it's still a thrill to see that garage door open and have them all come out, you know, you just... <laughs> Last year when we played Lamar, we were here early and they brought a, a bus with the, well, they had band members. Yes. And, you know, they're in here yeah, amazed. And, they, and it, they said, we wanted to see that garage door. <laughs> They'd <laughs> heard about so the garage about door. <laughs> Good, you got all the track stuff up there too. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive when teams come in here. Mm -hmm. See the number of conference championships and playoffs. I say that big video board's added a lot to us. Oh yeah, that's been a tremendous. Yeah. The garage door's open. Ready for action. <laughs>